Now, much has been said about Amor residences along Amokyo Avenue 1. It is probably one of the most talked about new launches in 2022 for two key reasons which I will discuss in this video. Number one, supply. Number two, price tag. Hello everybody, this is Lee Anne from Propedia. We all know that Amokyo is a huge residential town with close to 144,000 HDB dwellers. However, it only has a total of 1,900 private units in the open market serving the town, which comprises of four private condo, Novo and EC which launched in 2001 and has since been privatised, Grandior 8 in 2003, Central Residences in 2009 and the latest Panorama 8 years ago in 2014. As of now, Prices at Panorama have gone up by 33% in the open market and has recorded 138 profitable transactions and no unprofitable transactions as of now. Now, by simple law of economics, when supply is low, demand is high. Let us take a case study of Gem Residences. Gem Residences is a leasehold condo along Topayo Lorong 5, comprising of 578 units across unit types of 1 to 6 bedroom types. It launched in May 2016 at 1,400 PSF. On launch day, in the midst of a challenging property market, it sold about 52% of its total units. Prior to Gem Residences, there were only three other condos in Topayo, with Travista being the latest condo that launched in 2009. With the seven-year gap, there was naturally pent-up demand. At this point of time, the prices of Gem Residences has since gone up to 1,007 PSF in the open market and has recorded 62 profitable transactions and one unprofitable transaction. Now, going back to Amor Residences, on the one hand, we see a clear lack of supply in the area, but on the other hand, there is much talk about the possible price tag. Official prices have yet to be announced at this point of time. Based on the land price of 1,118 PSF PPR, there has been much speculation about Amor Residences' expected launch price at 2,000 PSF. Now, the question is, if it were to launch at 2,000 PSF, let's take a conservative 15% increase in price, will resale buyers still be able to afford? Assuming a 3 bed at, let's say, 1044 square feet, it would mean a future resale price tag of 2.4 mil. Would it still be affordable to upgraders? Working backwards, it would mean that an income of about 15,000 is needed based on TDSR. With this income based on MSR, the buyer would be able to afford a million dollar HDB in Amokyo. Once again, official prices have yet to be released, but in the case of Amor Residences, unit selection which I have discussed in some of my videos will be extremely important for a good exit strategy. Amor Residences is likely to launch in early July 2022 with 372 units across 2 to 5 bedroom types with a land size of almost 136,000 square feet. In my other videos, I spoke about the importance of good attributes and Amor Residences does tick many of these boxes. Good land size, proximity to Mayflower MRT which sits on the Thompson East Coast Line within 1km to two esteemed primary schools, Aitong Primary and CHID Senix Girls. That's all I have for you today. If you have any questions or need advice selecting a unit, PM me. I'll be happy to help. Cheers!